We are here. And I'll turn this off. Welcome. We're up. We're back. We're back. We're back. I have to reboot this, so <laughs> keep talking while I'm rebooting. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, I don't know what happened. So we'll, uh, we'll I guess we'll start tonight's show off with, uh, you know, with a uh, rest in peace to our, uh, our yeah. buddy Stan Lee. Stan Lee, gone. Sucks. 95. 95 years old. Um, responsible for a ton of good movies, ton of good characters. And he's just, it was very, very awesome. He's going to be very, very missed. Lived a great life. He did. Lived he a great did. life. Yes, he did. He's got a lot of friends. Um, he does have a lot of friends. He's got a lot of friends. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they do him right. Um, and like we were talking earlier, uh, a friend of mine, had a friend of ours had a, had an idea where she thought Belinda, that, who yeah, knows Belinda, more about sports than her exactly husband. Exactly right, Belinda. Belinda Fico knows, um, knows more about sports <laughs> than Tom. <laughs> So yeah, she had she had an idea where all the uh, the actors from all the movies should go to his funeral in character, which I thought was awesome. So very Hollywoodish. Yep, I think that would be very cool if they did that. And so we'll um, we were also talking about his daughter and what's what's coming. Yes, uh, apparently he had uh, filmed. His cameo for an upcoming movie, and I forget what movie it was, but that's going to be very cool, I think. So he'll be doing a cameo from the grave, his last one to do. So, well, that was kind of like uh, what was the movie, um, the, the the character that that um, Batman passed away. Oh, Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger. Yeah, the, the last, Joker. The yep. Joker. Um, that that kind of. Yeah, he had. They had filmed. They had filmed all that, yeah. and and he had died before the movie was finished. And they were um, kind of yeah tossing around whether they should. Oh, I think it was absolutely good that they did that. Yeah, it was it was cool. So, huh? Well, <sighs> Stan, you were uh, you were kind to us. Yeah, rest you in peace, kind, buddy. Kind to all of us. I know. Uh, I know. Lauren's a big fan. So yeah, I that's, think, uh, I think that's uh, why that Lauren's the reason we don't have anything here. <laughs> <laughs> so, not that that's a bad thing. No, not at all. Not at all. So, so uh, while we're uh, we're talking about people who passed, uh, we we lost another legend in the racing world. David Pearson. David Pearson passed away. Racing legend. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big. I was a big motorhead back in the day. Yeah. Back in the day, big motorhead. Still am. Still am. I I, I just watch watch on TV now, and I, I saw he had passed away as well. Okay. So. Um, that sucks. Yeah. How old, so how old was he? I he was up there. I eighty something. Oh wow. Yeah. He was. He was. You know. I mean, not that eighty's old, but no, it's not. It's you not. Know, but uh, yeah. So we lost. We lost a couple of legends this week. Yeah. Well, but um, here, right, here we are. We're still here. Here we are. Only the good die young. So and uh, he, he was eighty three. They were the lyrics to a song, I believe. Only the good die young. Billy Joel, who you saw the last time he was here, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. See him uh, a lot. Ah, the guy who does not know my more sports about Tom, sports. Yeah, Tom that, jumped his on. Life. Yeah, yeah, he finally jumped. I'll on. be getting a lot of hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be getting a lot of hate mail. So. His wife is already on, of course. Because oh, of course. Well, she, she just... knows more about sports than he does. <laughs> just in case he missed it earlier. <laughs> yeah, we did not give him enough grief last Thursday night. Well, that's because he purposely doesn't sit near me. Ah, yes. And he we, bad, we do he separate had selective you hearing. <laughs> that's from being, does he not? From being married. God bless her. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. Hi, Tom. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Love you, buddy. <sighs> <laughs> 
So anyway, here we are back uh, back are. for this is number five. This is number five. This is number five. And if you haven't already <clears throat> liked the page, This Fan's View. Yes, which I'm going would, to uh, uh, try to share a link to it now. If you like it and share it and ask questions and who knows participate in the show, you know, maybe we'll send you a Christmas card or something. Yes. Speaking of that. Speaking of that. Next week, we will be here on, on Wednesday, which is... The night before. The night before Thanksgiving, not the night before Christmas. We're going to have a, we're gonna have a turkey? We're, we are two turkeys, oh, so... Sorry. <laughs> um, we will be having... Do we want to announce that now? Yeah, since we already... You already did. Yeah, I know. You already um, did. We will be having a special guest. Um, our first guest. Our first guest. Number one. Yes. On our show. So, yeah, we, we, we decided that we were going to make this one special. Very um, special. Very special. So, stay tuned for that. That will be next week. Um, and we'll, we'll announce it again before the show's over. Okay. So. Okay. Slot. And uh, are you ready for Christmas already? I am. Are you? I am. I, uh, I put my tree up last night. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I just think it's funny. I will not put my tree up. Until probably the week before Christmas, but then again, <coughs> my tree's only this big, and it well, sits in my wind in my bay window, so I have it a little bit easier than you do. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I like any, anybody who knows knows me knows I like the holidays. Yeah. Um, next week is Thanksgiving, and yes, I promised is. that it was going to be up before Thanksgiving, and it's well, up. Well, you made a promise. It's up. You kept it. It's up. All right. And. Um, it's a pre-lit tray, gorgeous, okay. gorgeous. Feel free to come over and you know we can we can toast some eggnog or something. All right, and um, we'll decorate it. Just have to make sure I don't forget my phone. <laughs> well, that was your problem last <laughs> Thursday night. That so, was my problem last Thursday. Those, We're not going to get into <laughs> those 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 things will happen. I'll leave that there, and that's the end of that conversation. Yeah, that was that is definitely the end of that conversation. So. Where did you watch the Eagles game Sunday night? We went to P.J. Wellahan's in Newtown Square, which we normally go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, and that was just our go-to place because it's just wings and beer. What I didn't like about them, I mean, they have, what, umpteen million TVs. The game was only on five, maybe? Really? When we, yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. It was. They have the two big TVs behind the behind the bar. Oh, with Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm Buffalo sorry. Wild Wings. They, they had yeah. the two big TVs behind the bar, which they should both be the Eagles game, but they're not. The it whole, was the Eagles game. The and whole was, joint should have been Eagles game. PJ Wellahan's. That's the right. Way they do it. We walked in, and every other TV had the Eagles on, and then every other TV had some stupid tennis match. Right? <laughs> they go like, together. Yeah. I'm like, nice, really? So we called the waitress over. We had already ordered. And um, she goes, oh, yeah, just just wait. I'm like, all right. So then game starts. Every TV had the Eagles on. I'm like, that's the way it should be. <coughs> when you go to a sports bar to watch an Eagles game, especially when it's the only game on. Now, Sunday afternoon, I can see where you'd have different games on. Sure. Right? Sure. That I can see. But when it's the only game on, it. every single TV should be Eagles. Absolutely. So that will be my go-to spot from now on because I like the food there. I actually like their wings better, and they know how to do Eagles games right. They know how to do Eagles games right. Apparently, Eagles don't know how to do Eagles games right. <laughs> yeah, so we... Um... We went down to Xfinity Live early. I guess we got down there mid mid to late afternoon. And, okay. You know, we had a few beverages and, you know, met up with some friends and hung out. and. That's we, always fun. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, the day was going great. The, the place was, was fly, Eagles fly. It was, it was awesome. You know, they were giving out all kinds of stuff. It was, it was just very... The setting was awesome, you know. The, right. the setting was perfect. It was, you know, Eagles, Cowboys. The Eagles chants were every five seconds. Yep. 
Um, you know, we walked over, I'm going to say, right around, I guess, 7 o'clock-ish. Walked over, you know. I mean, at this point, the, the tailgate was, was mobbed. You couldn't even get through the parking lot. It was it was patched. Jeez. So we got into the stadium, no no problem, you know. Walked through security, everything was good. Got into the stadium, everything was fantastic. Um, the the beginning, the ceremony, you know, with the flag covering oh, yeah. the field. And there were some there, there were some some people from the Eagles organization holding the flag, wasn't there? Oh gosh, yeah, 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 yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, I I zeroed in <clears throat> on on one Jason Kelsey. Okay. Who stood between two military. Very cool. Watched them the entire time after they was done. Shook hands, you know, with both of them. Yeah, there was no kneeling. Was, there was no kneeling Sunday night, was I there? think that's over. Good. I really do. I, I, I think that's I haven't whole, seen much of it, thank I, God. I, I think that's that's pretty much over. Good. Um but the the, the Eagles do things right. They right. they they just it was incredible. Um and we even had in our row we had a bunch of military in, really? in our row, which kind of I felt safe. Yeah, <laughs> it was cool. That's cool. They stood the whole time. Really, they stood the entire game. Never sat down once. Um, Did you have a good time? No. Why? Because of the score, or just? Well, I just. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna get this show off really bad right away, aren't you? <laughs> well, we started off with two people dying. So. I know, right? <laughs> we can't, can't can't get any worse than that. Can't get any worse than that. Well, <laughs> no. I, I, I'm afraid our eagles are buried. Well, yeah, they're so okay. So they're what four and five? Yeah, they're four and five. They're playing the Saints next week. You know they're not going to win that game oh. unless oh. unless. Something happens, and the Saints just, for whatever reason, don't show up. We could possibly win. Other than that, so you're saying that's the only way we win is if the Saints don't come marching in. If they're if they're playing like they did Sunday, yeah, there's there's no way they're going to win this game. Well, the, the they're what 14, 14 and a half underdogs. Yeah, I mean that's two touchdowns. But they were. Given Dallas six, and they lost. Yeah. So you never know. <clears throat> the uh, the the first half of that game was horrendous. Right. Horrendous. <clears throat> I I just you know, it was just all over the place with bad play calling, mm-hmm. poor execution, players not making plays. Defense was not. It just doing was, it anything. Was bad. It was bad. They left the field to a chorus of boos. Yeah. And I thought they were going for the Cowboys leaving the field, and it was it was the complete opposite. So it was what was it six three at halftime? Yeah, I mean it was a horrible first half it, of football. It was. It should it and, should have been ten three. And I don't plus. like watching football live to begin with. Right. I'm not a big, but it was Dallas Eagles. You know, I I wanted to be there. It's all about atmosphere, and which I get. Up to the game, <clears throat> by the way. Uh, former President Bush was there to yeah, do the coin toss. Yeah, I did toss. see that. I did see that. Um, you know, very cool, you know, ceremony, you know, with the t- the, the tossing of the coin yep. and, and all that. Very cool. But the first half was just absolutely hideous. And second half didn't get much better. You know, it didn't, but, you know, the Eagles made a game of it. Um, they played better. Couldn't play much worse. Right. Couldn't play much worse as far as I, I could see things. Um, no, no, they could have. <laughs> <laughs> but I did make sure to Well, they have to. Look around here, they're still the Super Bowl champs. They are. They are. They're still the Super Eight months ago we were the happiest fans in the world. And we should still be happy. And and I still am. Right. I still am. I'm just disappointed. Yeah. Because everything that went well last year is not going well this year. Okay. With the play calling is not the same. The players are not the same. Nothing's. N- we're we're not going down that magical road. No, last last year was an anomaly. Who knows if it'll ever happen again? But not saying that it can't. They just need to make some changes. You know, now 
Darby getting hurt hurts us because we have way too many people hurt to begin with. You got one guy. You have one starter left in the backfield. I know. Malcolm Jenkins. The problem. Everybody else is either done for the season or or on injured reserve or just out injured. Brian Maloney says they're going to win on Sunday. I hope you're right. I really hope you're right. What does he know about football? He's a hockey guy. (laughs) He's a hockey guy. Hey, he's being positive. He just wants to win the prize and there isn't one. (laughs) He's being positive. I I applaud your positivity. Thanks, Brian Sr. You know, we know somebody who loves positivity. That's senior, senior, by the way. Yeah, it, oh, it was God. just it was just miserable. But they made a game of it in the second half. They came back. They tried. They, t- they tied the score at they twenty did. to twenty. They did. I they was did. like, okay, we get a defensive stop, we can win. But that's the problem. The defense was not stopping anything, and Dallas knew it. They knew if they had two yards to go and it was fourth and two, they would make it. So, so what's the problem on the defensive side of the ball? They're what's not doing their job. Nobody is. They're not stopping anything. Well, here, here again, here again, they're not getting the push up front. Right. Okay? They're not getting to the quarterback. Okay? No, they're not. Not at all. Their, their linebackers are, they're okay. There's not a, there's not a superstar in the, in the group there. <clears throat> You know, right. I mean, you've got three mediocre linebackers. Right. Okay. The quarterback's throwing the ball over the top. The deep, the defensive backs are playing. The, the coverage is so soft, it's ridiculous. Right. Unbelievably soft. Yeah. Which I don't understand. I I don't understand how you're playing that far off the, the receivers. You, you're just giving them way too much cushion, and they're just, they're just eating you up. Well, okay, so then... Why are we not going after the defensive coordinator saying, what the hell are you doing? Well, I'm not sure. Schwartz is, is, a, is the kind of guy that if you even ask him a question, he's going he's gonna to twist it every which way and not really answer, answer like it to that. begin with. I don't um, like people like that. You know, he had, you know, we had a good year last year. So you're, you're saying <coughs> that Schwartz was not with us on Sunday? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's. I mean, you know, are we not blitzing enough? Um, it's pretty difficult blitzing when you got defensive backs that are you're you're three four deep, right? You know, as to where these guys normally are special teams players are on the practice yeah. squad for crying out loud. You know, yeah. so I, I'm so okay. So now. Darby's out. Done for the season. Right. With uh, ACL? Yeah. Okay. Now what do we do? Now we we have one less person that's going to be able to be any uh, effective in any way on the defensive line. And you know how many points a game Drew Brees puts on the board? I know. So do My, they do they score over 50 points? <laughs> <laughs> My best bet for me on Sunday is to go to the Flyers Carnival and not even worry about the Eagles game. How about that? How about that? Thanks. Somebody got my my Spaceballs reference. That was a Spaceballs reference, by the way. Have you ever seen that movie? I have not. Okay. No. You know, Star Wars, May the Force Be With You, well, and Spaceballs was May the Schwartz Be With You. So... I think I think a lot of people in Philadelphia would like to see the Schwartz be with you out of here. They're not they're not happy they're not happy with them. I, I yeah. you know even last year in 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 winning the Super Bowl they were not happy with Schwartz. There were a lot of weeks. There were a lot of weeks that he was called out. Yeah, you know, a lot of things went right last year. A lot I, of things went right last year. Yeah, you know, I'm, and, and the defense played really, really well. Right, everything gelled together. Everything last fell year. into place. It really did. It was it, it was like it was meant to be, which it was. It was our time. Well, now, but we're, we're here, back to reality. Here, pretty here, much. here's my here's my question. Here's my question mm-hmm. to you. 
So you're at home. You're coming off the bye week. You're as rested as you have been for, for since the season began. <clears throat> right. And you come out with this slop in the first half. Okay. You put up three points. Right. What happened? Well, didn't really look like they had any type of game plan. If they did, they didn't follow it. If they followed it, they didn't execute it very well. <laughs> The, the the running game is. <clears throat> Do we have a running game? It's it's gone. Right. It's gone. When Ajay went out, the, so did the running game. Um, you've got, you know, two, two running backs, Josh Adams and uh, Wendell Smallwood. Okay. Um, I mean, Josh Adams w- went undrafted. Um, you know, and probably. If Ajay was still on the team, I guess we wouldn't be having this conversation and Josh Adams wouldn't be on the team. Right. <clears throat> and he's been your probably your most promising running back <clears throat> yeah. on the field. Yep. So I I'm I'm uh you know, I'm not feeling the you know, the run pass situation with the Eagles. They they Doug loves to throw the ball, we all know that. But you've gotta You gotta mix it up. You have to. You yeah. have to. You and you don't have that's a just, consistent running back to make it happen. Right. That's just common sense. You just you just don't have it. So um, what do you think of the new acquisition? Well Was he was he of any importance or was he effective at all during the game? Well, from what I <clears throat> from what I gather, he was involved in eighteen plays on the field. Okay. Um so not really. Not really. Now, I mean, you would have thought with the talent that he brings that they may have ran a, spe- a few special plays for him. Do you think they were being too cautious? Of what? Just because... Nothing was working. You scored three points right. in the first half. Right. So, for me, at that point, I'm going all out in the second half. I'm doing whatever I have to do. <laughs> screw everything. Because you're going to lose. So, if you're going to lose, go out big. I just don't know how you're not playing with your feet on fire. Cowboys, Sunday night, at home, right. coming off the bye week. I it, just, I just, I don't know if the sense of urgency is there. It wasn't. Th- this year. It didn't. This year. This year. Well, yeah. This year. <clears throat> this is what? The third home game in a row we lost? Yep. I don't so like that. Do you I don't think, like that. Do you think he's coming into this like, I'm just going to pick up where I left off last year and it's just going to all work? Well, I'm going to throw something at you that... You're going to throw a lot of stuff at me today. It's not. It's no big <laughs> secret. What's that? I'm not happy with Carson Wentz's production. No. He's been making a lot of mistakes. Carson's throwing <clears throat> high. Yep. Low. low. If you notice... How many how many passes were caught where the receiver was on the ground? And and I'm okay with that because I think a lot of that is the offense that they run for their tight end, Zach Ertz, you know, so that the ball's not there to be tipped and picked off. Right. Um I just I just I don't like his he's just not showing me a whole lot back there. So do you think it's time to put Foles in? I mean, what do you have to lose? Right. What do you have to lose? Another game? Well, you're doing that, so it doesn't really matter. You right. Know, I, I know the O-line <clears throat> has been a huge problem all year. You know, the offensive line Both is just... Both lines. Well, and and I expected more out of the defense. I really did. I really honestly I think everybody did. did. I expected a lot more. I just think, you know... It, it's just it's just not happening. Um, no, you know guys are out of position. Um, it's just not it, it's just not happening. Right. You know what I mean. You got there's plenty, I, and I'm not even going to call it blame. You know what I mean. You, you got Carson coming back from a nasty injury. Right. He, he looks he looks rusty as all hell, as far as I'm concerned. You have no running game. You're forced to throw <clears throat> the ball. And the defense knows that. Yeah. 
the defense knows that. So, you know, I just, you know, that's my, my play chart. I know. Okay. So. Something we need to talk about. <clears throat> So, I mean, it, it was ugly. It, it, it was. It was ugly. And, you know, I just want to, I just, here, here's another thing that, that just, 40 bucks to park down at, down at the stadium. 40 bucks. <laughs> What's so funny? I think it's funny that. But I understand why they charge 40 bucks. Why? You should have seen that parking lot was, when, when, when <clears throat> I left. It was empty, right? It probably it probably took till Wednesday to get it cleaned up. <laughs> oh my gosh! It was. It Where was did you park? Over at the, in the Wells Fargo parking lot. You can't get in the link. Those spots are all sold out. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. so the Wells Fargo's <laughs> charging forty bucks now. Yes. Yep. So I'll tell you what we used to do, and our buddy Ernie taught taught, taught me this. Park over at Stella Maris Church. Yeah, yeah. It's walk, 10 bucks. Uh, well, you can park across the street at the park and walk over and it's free. <laughs> <coughs> 40 bucks. Wait, I'm not done. <coughs> I'm not done. Ex <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Xfinity Live. You walk yeah. up the ramp to go in, they give you a pretty little bracelet. Yep. Yeah, that's 10 bucks. Yeah, yep. That's 10 bucks. Just to get in, right. Right? I'm yeah. thinking, ah, oh, you get a free drink. No. It's 10 bucks for the bracelet. <laughs> huh? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it, believe me. All right, me. so we're walking in. Who's beside me? Hollis Thomas is walking I, in beside I just see me. that picture, yes. Right? They but. want to charge Hollis Thomas 10 bucks. What? Did you pay for him? I was Because I would have. I was going to. Okay. I was going to. But the guy who carted us, now mind ya, I'm as old as dirt, and he's carted <laughs> me. Right? Yes. Hollis Thomas goes... I'm Hollis Thomas, you know, I'm here, you know, representing the Eagles. Right. The guy just shook his head like, you know, he thought it was like, who? No clue. <laughs> no clue. I'm like, come on, Hollis. I he say, needs to go come away. Come on. Come on. Let's, I'll get you in. I'll pay the 10 bucks if I have to. <laughs> he goes, we're not paying 10 bucks. God. So, <clears throat> I, I, I... <sighs> I get it. Everybody deserves to make a buck. Yeah, but I get it. You're gouging at that point. Forty bucks to park, twenty bucks. I'm dying of thirst at that point. <laughs> I'm dying of thirst. Did you have any money left to actually get a drink? Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Because then you go to get a drink, and the uh, drinks are ten bucks. A a twelve ounce draft was I think six fifty for a twelve uh, twelve ounce draft. Eh, that's not too, too bad. <laughs> so, need, need I say, it was, it was a great, it was a great afternoon. It was a horrible evening. Right. But, you know, here we are. We're back for show five and we're, and we're, <laughs> and we're, we're still pounding the birds. Oh, God. So, so, well, all right. So, let's end this on a positive note. Okay. Okay. We're positive they're gonna lose on Sunday. <laughs> see, <laughs> see. Go I, ahead. Go ahead. I, I I'm looking for some some positivity. Positivity. Wow. I'm looking for something. Positivity. Who used to say positivity? <laughs> is this another? Is this another? No, no. I'm not. Not anything. Well, <laughs> I mean, if there's if there's a game to get us back into the season, get us back into the winning ways. They love winning on the road this year. Yep. We'll see. Saints are on fire, though. They are. They are, they are on not in fire. one. They are on fire. Yeah. Drew Drew B Drew Brees is just he's throwing touchdowns like backwards. <laughs> Joe Stinger says spring training starting soon. <laughs> Less than a hundred days. Less than it's ninety nine days, <clears throat> Joey. Yeah. Ninety nine days. Who's counting? So anyway. So, you want to talk about Aaron Nola and, and the, the Cy Young Award. Did he win? No. Let me guess. DeGrom. Yeah. It's a yeah. no-brainer. Yeah, I know. Somebody from New York. I mean, what did the guy win? Three games? <laughs> but he had an ERA under 1.5? Yeah. I know. What are you going to do? Nola never had a shot. 
He never had. He could have yeah. won twenty games, and he wasn't gonna. He wasn't gonna win. <clears throat> I know. They Sucks. wanted. They wanted somebody from New York for crying out loud. Let them. Who cares? Well, I care because it's I get my guy. It. I get it. It's my guy. I get it. There's nothing you can do about it. Well, I'm not it was. It was decided before. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Apparently, he came in third. Third. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's all BS. <clears throat> so staying staying along the lines of the Phillies and the winter meetings right. and off season and have you heard anything about Bryce Harper? No. <laughs> I haven't heard a word. No. Nothing. No. Um So anyway, here's the spin that I'm now getting. Okay. <clears throat> I guess the next next winter meetings are gonna take place in Las Vegas in a couple of weeks. Okay. Who lives in Las Vegas? Yeah. What better place to announce? Do you think he's going? Who he's going to sign with? Yeah. Okay. In Las Vegas. But who's he going to sign with? Well, I, it's the Phillies. It's the pinstripes. You sure about that? Yes. All right. Yes. I'm okay with that. I I might might actually go out and get a Harper jersey. I'll beat you to the store. And I'm not a big jersey-wearing guy. <laughs> but if we sign Bryce Harper, yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Chris, Chris uh, Lahif saying he's going to sign December 16th. There you go. All and, right. And I'm December, going to hold you to that, Chris. And December 16th is in Las Vegas, correct? Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna hold you to that, Chris. It's Scott Boris. It's it's yeah. the, it's the circus. It's Las Las Vegas. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yep. Close to four hundred million dollars. You know. I I I heard anywhere between three fifty and four hundred. So we'll see. And he's what? Twenty four. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you're making that much money. Who cares how old you are? So I guess the biggest beef. With, with a lot of the people that I've been talking to is, is you know, the 10-year contract. Right. You know, but are we looking at 10 or are we looking at, you know, getting this to steal a line from the Sixers, getting this process started? Right. You know what I mean? Um, so hopefully hopefully if they can sign Harper and add a couple more pieces, make it, make it exciting for us Philly fans. Yeah. Starting in March. March eighth, I think I leave. What is what? What day is that? Thursday. Thursday. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'm going to leave Thursday night or Friday. Friday <clears throat> night. Um, so how do you guys do it when you go down? Right, you leave after work, of course. Yeah, we. The last couple of years, in driving down, because um, most everybody that knows me knows that I'm a wimp ass and I don't fly, so right. I drive. Right. So, um, we, we've been driving, we leave the area around seven. Right. I get into, um, <clears throat> deep into Virginia as far as we can that night, drive maybe five hours. Okay. Get up the next morning, breakfast, boom, I'm in Clearwater that night. Okay. By dinner time. So, you basically leave late just to get past Washington. Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. And then, <coughs> see, so on the way home, I can't remember if I stopped in Virginia or if I stopped in North Carolina. The and past then, two years, yeah. we've left by 6 a.m., 6 a.m. There. In Florida. Okay. Straight throw. Really? Straight throw. Yeah, but see, you got two drivers. That's true. Well, one. <clears throat> I don't drive much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, I I drove straight through. That's tough. It, it is. That's tough. It is. Um, I, I, could, I could never do that. <clears throat> I left, I guess, like between 9 and 10 at night. Um, and I drove straight through. <clears throat> By the time I got to Jacksonville, I was physically shaking. Um, so I kind of like pulled over for a little bit. And I mean, it was it was nice. It was sunny. It was hot. So I kind of pulled over and got out, splashed my face, got something to eat, got something to drink, and just chilled out for a little bit and then kept on going and got to 
Larry and Barb's house, um, I guess around 4 o'clock. So it wasn't too bad. So spring training this year is going to be, be exciting for us Phillies fans? It is. Hopefully. Even if they, you know what, even if they do not sign Bryce Harper, right? there's going to be some new faces. There has to be. There, if there isn't? There's no sense in going. Right. I'm still going. <laughs> you you have literally just every subject you have just. <laughs> but I'm not serious about a lot of them. No matter what, I don't care if they lose every game. I'm going to spring training every year. So it's a good time, right? Yes. The sun's out. It's a good time. The sun's out. It's not it's... here. This is true. So. So to all of our. Watchers. Florida, Floridian watchers. Uh, Chris is leaving. Sixers are on. Keep us updated on what they're doing, Chris. Tomorrow, ice, snow, freezing yeah. rain. <laughs> How about that, Joe Stinger? You missed those days in Lower <laughs> Marion? Huh? Loading up the salt truck, buddy? So, oh, my God. So, anyway, back to the Phillies. Back to the so, Phillies. So, he, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to throw another one at okay. you. Okay. Right? Today. Mm-hmm. They let their pitching coach explore other opportunities. So they fired him. I didn't read that. <laughs> I didn't read the word fire in the conversation. They're not going to say that. Oh. They're going to say that they relieved him of his duties. Well, when I was or... fired, I was told, you're fired. Yeah. We don't need your services but anymore. You're also not making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. And nobody cares if you get fired. Nobody cares if I get fired. Because you know what? They're still going to have their company, and they're still going to do what they want. So you want to know who the new pitching coach is? It is. Chris Long. Okay. Not that Chris Long. Right. The other the Chris other Chris Long. Long. Okay. I think I have his name right. No, Chris Young, I think. Chris Young. Yeah. Sorry. Chris Young. <laughs> Chris Young. So I and, still got Chris Long on the brain because he's, you know, he's not making any plays. <laughs> Chris Young. Correct. So, so, Chris Long used to be the assistant. Chris Young. Chris Young, yeah. Don't listen sorry. to me. Yeah, now you got don't, me messed up. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was the Dallas helmets over there that I'm looking at that are screwing me up. So, <laughs> so Chris Young <laughs> used to be the assistant pitching coach. He was coach. the assistant pitching coach. Okay. And apparently they were getting a lot of other teams inquiring about hiring him away to be their pitching coach. So <clears throat> we don't really want him, but we're going to keep him so that nobody else gets him. Is that right? Is he the next up and coming of who? Who knows? He was a borderline good pitcher. Right. And now he's yeah, going to be... But those who can't those who can do, those who can't teach or coach. But uh, who knows? help me out here. Wasn't our <clears throat> pitching one of our bright spots last year? It was one of the brighter spots. Well, of... there you go again. See? <laughs> See? Well, there was, really wasn't a lot of bright spots to the, to the year. We need to rehearse this show a little bit. <laughs> it was one of the brighter spots of the, of the, of the team, yes. Especially with Nola at home. Forget it. Yes. Well, apparently he was pretty upset that Rick Kranitz was let go. Okay. So, I just throwing that out there. Yeah, I have. I know you have zero interest in Rick Kranitz. No. And it's not that big a deal. Right. You know, apparently, maybe no. he was the fall guy for, for the oh, horrible, some, second, he's for blame the horrible second half. Yeah, he's got to blame somebody. You know somebody. what I mean? Since Kapler's but, not getting fired. You know, let's fire Rick Kranitz. Um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> the only thing I absolutely loved about Rick Kranitz was that he wasn't Bob McClure. <laughs> well, he was the only holdover from the previous coaching staff. Okay. He was the only, and he was the assistant that year. Okay, so then, if he didn't forecast that he was going to be let go this year, then my guess is that he's pretty stupid. You know, if he had if he had things in the fire knowing that this was coming, 
which he probably did. <clears throat> you know, but if he was the only one left, then I, I I don't I don't see any surprise. In the Phillies have me a little confused. Well, they don't know what they're doing. You keep telling me that, <laughs> but it's very becoming very apparent that they don't know what they're doing. I think they're just they're throwing spaghetti on the wall and see what sticks. But we did hire a Paco. Yes. We hired a Paco. And? We got a coach named Paco. <laughs> I just love the name. That's all. Well, thanks, John. <laughs> John said we have very good friendly banter back and forth. Who's John? John Roberts. Oh, JR. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my JR. What's up, buddy? Thanks for uh, checking us out. So, you know, that's it for the Phillies. Um, spring training weekend. Bob Connolly says this is better than the great sports debate. <laughs> of course it is. Anything can be better than that. We are better than most of the stuff you'll see on TV because that's all planned out. And we all know how planned out shows go. Hey, can I give a shout out? You can. Because I can, right? It's your show. So, our good friend Anthony Pignetti. Yes. Reading Fightins, executive director of baseball operations. Yep. We know him well. Mm -hmm. I know him a little bit better. Yes, you do. So, the Reading Eagle newspaper. Yep. They highlighted 40 of 40, of 40 uh, people involved in the community, people you know, doing community service, you know, just reaching out and helping others. And Anthony was one of the 40. Um, last night, I guess they had a, you know, a dinner and award ceremony. So um, he does awesome. a, He does a great job. He does a great job. He, he, he's into it. Good. He is into That's it. That's awesome. He is into it. And, and uh, he does a great job, yeah. you know, with the community up there and, and the Reading Fightins. And uh, so anyway, shout out to Anthony. Yeah, congratulations. You know, great honor. Great honor. Keep up the good work. Yeah, and that's you awesome. Know, um, well deserved. Keep my tickets coming. <laughs> <laughs> it was a day we went this past this past year, and, and uh, I'm like, these are general admission tickets. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give him crap for that? Of course. <laughs> He goes, oh, that's funny. I'm sorry, he ran off. I got work to, I got work to do. Nah, he's a, he's a really good guy and, yeah. and uh he takes care of everybody. He's 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 just he's awesome. So every, I just, time, every time I see him, yeah, he actually acts like he wants to talk to me. And not many people do that. So how'd I get stuck? That, hey, this was your idea. Oh. <laughs> so you only got yourself to blame. Five. <laughs> But anyway, next week. Next week. Next week, we gotta we got our first guest. Our first guest next week. We're not going to announce. No, it yet. we're not. Not yet. <clears throat> not yet. It's not, not yet. Time. Nope. It's not time. Nope. We will announce it next week. <laughs> <laughs> so. But he's a very good guest. He's an awesome guest. So we did give something away. What did we give away? It's a he. It's a he. Yes. He is a great guy. He is a great guy. And. He is, loves the holidays. Oh, my God. Loves the yes, holidays. Yes, he does. So, anyway, so can we talk about the Sixers? They're on. They're losing, but they're on. Four-time All-Star Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. We now have a Butler in Philadelphia. With the crazy hair. I think Sue said the same thing. What's up with his hair? I don't know. My mom, my mom said the same thing. She's like, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> So, we got that star, that all-star, that superstar, that megastar that we were shooting for. Yeah, well, well, we'll see. We'll see. So, between... So, he's now part of the big three. <clears throat> okay. So... We'll see what they're doing. Right now, they're losing against... Uh... Well, they're now winning. Oh, so now they're winning. They're okay. Winning. They're right. in Orlando tonight. All right. They're in Orlando tonight, and... Um, can only get better, right? It, it can only get better. Can only so, get better. When I had uh, was talking to somebody who doesn't know a lot about 
sports, but his wife knows more. Oh, that, that person. Yeah, 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 yeah. that person. Yeah. He's like, well, why don't you have it Thursday? Because then the Sixers game will be over, and you can talk about the Sixers. I'm like, we can talk about the Sixers anyway. They've had a couple games before this today. So absolutely, yeah. So thanks for the advice, though. <sighs> yeah, thanks, Tom. <laughs> Noted. Noted. Um, so we got Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, and now Jimmy Butler. All right. To go along with, well, Dario's gone and Wes Covington. Covington. Gone. Okay. So All we, right. we've got, you know, we've got to throw a couple other guys in there. I guess we're not quite sure who's going to, who's going to assume. I guess J.J. Reddick's going to become a starter now. Okay. Whereas before he came, mostly came off the bench. Right. Um, the number one pick from last year, Fultz. I guess he's the odd man out. Yeah. And he seems a little um, <clears throat> salty about it. Uh, so. Uh, well, I said she's rolling, by the way. She's rolling? Yeah. That means she's gone? No. She's laughing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because we're... We're, uh, we're busting on Tom. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so. Uh, well, he does a good job with me anyway. He does. With me anyway. He does. I can remember... I think it was the um, the vacation drawing, where he had it come from both you and Larry. We're just, yeah. But he deserves it. You deserve it. So, uh, what's Shay got to say? Looking good in the NFL veteran sweatshirt. There you go. I like that. Who's that? You. Oh, thank you. Salute they, they gave this away at the. This was a giveaway. Oh, that's nice. This was a giveaway Sunday night. Ah, so you took the other flag down, and put this flag up. I'm gonna auction it off. This one? No, the other one. The other flag? Yeah, we're going to auction it off. Ah! At an upcoming show. Ah, okay, so stay tuned for that. So, <laughs> we're going to auction off the puck. <coughs> Larry said Tom's a great sport. Yeah, Larry, you don't have to talk to him after all this happens. I do. I don't. Right. <laughs> I, I get don't. to hear it. When's the next men's light? January? Ah, I got plenty of time. Yeah, either January or February. And I don't know if I'm going to be here, so... Yeah, we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> so, Sixers, we'll see where that goes, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. They're holding the start, their own. As far as I'm concerned, the stars are now aligned. Because I think that is the, the, the caliber of player that they needed. So, we have what they call syzygy. What's that mean? All, all, I'm sorry. That's all the planets are lined up. I think that's what that's called. When all the planets are lined up with the sun... In a row. I think that's called Syzygy. I don't know. Somebody look that up for me. I might be wrong. <clears throat> Belinda. Yeah, she'll look it up. She's really good at doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just take a shot at her? No. I, I'm, I'm actually complimenting her. She's really good at looking stuff up. So, every Tuesday night, we go to Sligo and Media for trivia. All right? And we have a very long winning streak. You guys cheat? No, not at all. Never. Last. Never ever. Nope. Last week. Because you know they're all cheaters. Tell you how much of a cheater they are. So last week, we're there, and there's this one team that absolutely just despises us. Because you win all the time. <clears throat> because we win all the time, and they and hate, you have they a hate good losing. time, and you sit there, and, right? And we don't you know, care. You don't care, right? And you still win. Exactly right. So she was there with Jealousy. one other person. Yeah, exactly right. So she was there with one other person. And they normally have a team of like maybe six or seven people, right? So she was there with another guy. There was a question, and the question was, um, I still remember the question. The question was, what continent gets cut in half by the Tropic of Capricorn, right? She pulls out an atlas and starts looking through it. I'm like, seriously? So... One of the guys, because we had two teams at that point, because we had too many people, so we split off into two. One of the guys from our original team calls her on it. She takes it and slides it down and throws it down. Really? I was, oh, my God. I was laughing my ass off. Did a brawl break out? <clears throat> no. No, oh, no, no, no. That's no fun. So. A brawl at Quizzo? No, 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 no. It's not worth it. So. <sighs> Not worth this, the $20 gift card? We got 25 12 sorry. So 25 15 and 10 all right, so this week we had two teams. We had our original team, 
And then the break-off team, we named ourselves Free at Last. <laughs> I like it. I like it. She was pissed. So. Did she come back? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they came so back. So she was, after she threw the <coughs> Atlas last week, she came back she came again back. this week? She came back, yeah. But she had the rest of her team with her. What she have in her pocketbook this week? I have no idea. Because she knows she's closer. cheating. Oh, there, she sits on her phone the entire time. Uh, <clears throat> so, but, yes, Belinda's right. It's Australia that gets cut in half. Did you win? Well, okay, so we were we were in first place through the entire, there's five rounds. We were in first place most most of it, and we just screwed the pooch in the last round. So we ended up coming in third. Our original team came in first, so we got two gift cards. And now we found out that the other teams don't like us, except for the one team that's just behind us. They, they kind of like us a little bit. But they were pissed off first because our team was too big. So we split off into two teams, and now they're pissed off because now we're winning twice instead of winning just once. So make up your mind. I can understand. What do you want to be pissed off at? You want to be pissed off at this, or you want to be pissed off at that? You can't be pissed off at both. If you're telling us our team's too big, then we're going to split off and have two teams. If you want to win, get smarter people on your team. All right? There you go. All right, enough of that. Yeah, we beat her in the tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> The funny part is, a tiebreaker consists of five questions. Four regular questions and a numbered question at the end. <clears throat> it came down to the tiebreaker for the tiebreaker. Right? And um, the question was, what's the, the square footage of, was it Sweden? I think it was. And we guessed 69,069. They guessed 16,000. So... He read their answer first. I just started laughing really loud because we had looked it up after we put our number there. It was like 174,000, so we knew we won. But I started laughing really loud and it pissed them off. I'm like, ah, whatever. Way to go. <laughs> Way to make I'm making friends everywhere. Way to make friends. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, enough of that. What's where, next? Where are we at? Well, we, we got done talking about the Sixers, who are now... Well, they were winning by a bigger margin, but now they're up uh, 1917. We've got it on in the back. So so hopefully we'll be uh, <clears throat> talking about a couple of wins next week. Yes. Oh, we didn't talk about the Flyers. Well, Their three-game winning streak well, got broken last night, right? They uh, they came up short last night. Okay. Came up short. All right. Played I'm okay a with strong that. third period. I thought they were going to tie it up at the end. Sure looked like it anyway. Yeah. Uh, lost 2-1 at home to the Panthers. Uh, they're playing much better. Much, much better. Okay. And you um, can't win them all. So, <coughs> no, you can't. You know, but they're, now they uh, just got to get back on the horse and <coughs> go from there. They're 9-8-1 and one as we speak. They play the Devils tomorrow night at home. I don't, so, I don't, you know, I mean, here's my, here's my thought process. If they get good goaltending every night, right. they have an absolute complete shot at winning every night. Right. They're that, I feel like the lines are, are that good. You know, they, sometimes they outsmart themselves, you know, um, but Giroux is playing some, some really good hockey right now. Right. Um, not sure where where that came from. He kind of comes and goes sometimes. Okay, but he's he's up there. He's getting ready to break uh, Brian Prop's record for assists. I think okay. he just tied Rick McLeish. So those are some big time scorers. So okay, I mean he's you know he's he's got some incredible numbers. Um, he's he's right behind Crosby. You know in you know that time frame of, of yeah I know. Cindy? I, I can't believe I brought it up. Cin Cindy? Yeah. Oh, did I ever show you that picture? No. I got to say, when we get to uh, Wellahan's after this, I'll show you. <clears throat> we went to um, Pittsburgh to watch Phillies. Phillies uh, Pirates game. Yeah. Right? Went to McFadden's right across the street. Yes. And I saw the Cindy Crosby jersey up there. I took a little picture in front of it. I'll have to show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> can't imagine. And I did that. With a huge Pittsburgh fan standing right next to me. And he's like, you're going to get me killed. 
Oh, well, don't be a Pittsburgh fan. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So, um, get the Devils tomorrow night. Gonna okay. Going to be another tough game, but it's home. It's home. It's home, and... Are we back in <clears> black tomorrow? No, that's no. special. Yeah. Special the, games? Yeah, those unis, they, they only roll them out. Okay. <clears throat> certain certain games, not not too often. But the carnival is Sunday. Carnival Sunday. Yearly, Flyers Carnival Sunday. Flyers Carnival is Sunday. <clears throat> they've they've raised some incredible amount of money over the years. That's cool. It's a great event. Um, I, I haven't been there the past couple of years. Okay. But um, we're heading down. We're gonna hang out with some some friends. Cool. It's a great opportunity for autographs, photo ops. Oh, that's awesome. If you got kids, there's games. It's it's just a fun time. Cool. I believe it's eleven to four on Sunday. Okay. You know, it, it's just it's a fun it's a fun thing. Do you have to buy tickets ahead of time, or can you get them at the door? You know, they're not sold out yet. Really? Year, years past. Oh, you there know, you go. Not sold out. So head on past, down. Years past. It's been it's been you know, <clears throat> it's sold out. But you know, a lot of things have changed. Okay. You know, um, but it's a it's a great opportunity. Okay. It's a great opportunity. And 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 can I give another shout out? You absolutely can. Um, Lou Nolan. Yes. Super guy. Yep. Friend of ours here at the store. Friend yep. of ours. I per- met him here for the first personally. time. Personally, he put out a book. Has yes. a book. Yep. And it's a great holiday gift. Unbelievable holiday gift. If you connect with him on Facebook, he'll even bring you a signed copy to a Flyers game and you can meet him in the press box to, to get it. He's that good about it. Yeah. So yep. it, it's a great read. Uh, what's the title? Um, uh, I if forget. these walls could talk. Yes, that's exactly right. Yes, um, <clears throat> it's a phenomenal read. Yeah, a lot of great stories. I mean, Lou goes way back. Really? And I'm not saying Lou's old. No, no. If you're watching, Lou, I love you. <laughs> it's a great book. It's a great book. I think it's twenty bucks. And um, you, like I said, you can message him on Facebook. Um, he he interacts with with fans and yeah. friends and just just an unbelievable. So, if you're looking for a twenty dollar holiday gift, there you go. There you go. There, there's my holiday gift selection <laughs> of the year. Well, speaking so, of shout outs, what do you have going on this weekend? Anything? Um, <clears throat> no signings. Nothing. 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 You got a free weekend. No signings. <clears throat> We're starting to wind down for the end of the year. Okay. Next weekend, Black Friday, <clears throat> Small Business Saturday. Right. We got a lot. We got a busy weekend. Okay. Busy, busy weekend. So if you're looking to save money in the store, right, come see us Friday, Saturday. All right. There you go. You have it um, here. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? At our house. Yeah. We're at our house this year. Yep. So, um, yep. All right. Lots of, you know, I Food. missed it last year because we went out last year. Okay. We went out. And it's nothing like, you know, going in the fridge and getting leftovers at 11 o'clock. Yeah. And there's none there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You should have said something. You could have came with us. So, it was fun. We enjoyed it. Right. We enjoyed it. Bottle of red. You know, it was... You know all about a bottle of red. Yeah, I know all about two bottles of red. (laughs) So, it was was enjoyable. But, you know, we're back. You know, we're back Uh. home and... Jack says you need a Hextall signing. Not a Hextall signing, a Hextall signing. Yeah, he's he missed the last one. Ah, see, you missed the last one. Missed the last one. But he's just he's he's throwing that out there because we got a private coming up with Bobby Clark. Right. right. And you, you know do them I mean? every once in a while. We do we do them. Yeah. I think this may be our second or third this year. Okay. Yeah, we're we're good friends of, of Clarkie and um you know, we go over and get merchandise signed for collectors right and we get store inventory as well okay um so sunday we got the carnival we'll be there so hopefully i'll see some familiar faces and um cool how about you what do you got planned for the weekend uh i have my (laughs) have my high school reunion on saturday what high school is that upper darby okay what year 35th year so I've been out of high school for 35 years. Too long. <clears throat> so I have that going on. Um, I thought I had something going on Friday, but I, I don't. I don't think so. Um, other than that, have to help my neighbor with with some stuff because we're having work done to both our fronts. 
So I do have a lot going on this weekend. Okay. Um, okay. And then, you know, tomorrow's going to be a mess. I don't think it's going to be as bad here in Delco. The city's coming going to be bad? Uh, I think it's north. N well, yeah, we were supposed to be get, getting a coating to an inch, yeah. but it's not the snow that's going to be... The freezing rain. It's the rain, the sleet, and, you know, as soon as people see pre precipitation oh. on the road, forget it. They can't drive. Did you did you stop at the grocery store and get bread and milk? No. There isn't any. It's gone. Really? The shelves are wiped out. <laughs> you know what happens. Ah, uh, Joe's what going to the beach. Joe's going to the beach. <laughs> Love that Joe Stinger. I'm coming with you. Love that Joe Stinger. <laughs> He puts a, he puts up his little his little posts, you know. I forget the name. Pine Island, okay. Pine Island, yeah. On Pine, you know, Pine Island. Well, sitting there, stogie, feet up. He we, goes. We have a friend that lives in Florida who does that too, and that's who I'll be staying with when we go to spring training. Well, so. this is this is our dream. Yeah, this is our dream. Eventually, so. eventually, we'll be doing <clears throat> doing all of our shows. There. So, it, go ahead. No, go what, ahead. You what's, got it. Looking forward, what's the plan for doing shows in spring training? We're going to do a couple? We're going to do one? Well, you got to, we got to find out first and foremost if they're going to keep having us back. See, there's where you're thinking wrong. Because <clears throat> we can just con continue to do this. Anyway. Doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Oh. As long as you have a Facebook account, we can do this. And they even let us check in this week. <laughs> Larry so, said it's a tough job living <coughs> down in Florida. Somebody likes us. <laughs> yeah, Larry, he beat us all, didn't he? Well, no, yeah. Joe Joe Stinger. Well, what's it, like five years, Joe? He Gotta, wants to know if we're going to do him on the field, Joe does. Well, well, I think we do something from the stadium. We'll definitely absolutely do something from and the we'll stadium. And we'll get our we'll get our Floridians <clears throat> around us. Yeah, huh? Absolutely. So we'll we'll have some fun with oh, it. Oh, absolutely. We'll have we some will. fun with it. We might maybe by then we'll know what we're doing. I uh, know. No, no. I got no shot. I've been at my job for thirty one years. I still have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. So, and that's that's the beauty of this. Yeah. Play it by ear. Just wing it. We'll talk about whatever. Nothing. Give Tom crap. Yeah. Which we need to make that a segment. In the show. Maybe we'll have him on it as a guest one week. Oh, and we can just give him crap all, all and show. And he could, he could just sit here and, and not say and anything. And get us water and, <laughs> and whatever. I don't know. What do you think, Tom? <laughs> Can't believe he's still watching. I know what he's doing right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Same thing I did to Cindy Crosby's jersey. Oh. <laughs> We're he did, losing. He did that a lot last week, too, by the yes, way. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So, anyway. So... We're back next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, six thirty. Our Thanksgiving. Uh, our Thanksgiving show. day special. And um, we're going to have our very first numero uno. Yes. Guest. So I'm really looking forward to it. That was a yeah. great idea of yours. That was a phenomenal idea. All credit right here. Yeah, my right idea. Here. <clears throat> and um, <laughs> Belinda's still laughing, by the way. <laughs> at home. Maybe we should have her on. Is she laughing at Tom or us? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe um, we have her on. If you guys can find a few minutes to check in next week. Yeah, before you go out drinking, because yeah. Wednesday before Thanksgiving is traditionally... Are we going out after the show next Wednesday? Yeah. Well, we go out every right. Wednesday after Yeah, we're going to PJ Wellahan, so Sue, you please meet us there. Anybody else who wants to come? <laughs> anybody, anybody named Sue? We're going to have 27,000 Sue's Sue, there. Sue knows who I mean. We're going to have like all these girls named Sue. It's Thanks okay. for watching, Larry. It's okay for you. So, hey. <laughs> are we uh, winding down? We are winding down. I think we're done. We're done? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, again, this fan's view. Like it. Share it. Um, give us some feedback. And uh, see you next week. You got it. All right, my friend. Thank you. <laughs>